So I have a customer with a GE cooktop and the front left burner isn't lighting. I came over, I tested it out, I put it on light. All of the sparkers tick except for the front left one. So there's probably a problem with the sparker itself. First thing you wanna do is unplug the unit. All of these cooktops, whether it's GE or a different brand, are pretty much the same. The first thing you do is remove all of the burner heads and all of the knobs. Each burner has three screws. On this unit, it's a Torx 15 bit. Yours could be different, uh, but for the most part, we just have to remove this stainless steel top. So you remove all the visible screws. This one has three on each burner. Then I take a flathead screwdriver and I pry it apart. Now, most of them come apart just like this. You remove the top and then you set that aside. Now, the one giving me a problem is the yellow wire on that spark module. The spark module is like a little computer that controls all the ticking. Whenever there's one module, they all should tick together. If one of them doesn't tick, there might be a problem with that sparker right there. So first thing we do is we unplug the yellow wire from that spark module and then remove this clip. That clip comes off, that's the clip, don't lose it, set it aside. Now, you wanna pull up that sparker out of the holder right there and pull the wire forward. There's a little slit, I pull it forward right through. Now, that wire is no good. The one on the left is the cracked one. If you look right there, it's cracked, so the ticking is happening where the crack is, not at the tip of the sparker. The new one is intact, I'm gonna install this new one there. So GE sells a harness for this, but it was back ordered. I was able to find a similar looking sparker that's exactly the same. So I ordered that, it was only six bucks, and now I'm gonna install it. So I pop it through and push it down, hold it straight. I take that clip and I clip it right on and snaps. I look around, make sure there's no tools inside. And now it's time to put this back on. To put this on, you wanna line up all the sparkers through the holes first. You could break a sparker if you put it on wrong. Wrong, see right there, it's not lined up. You wanna straighten it out and then it falls right flat. The next thing I do is I put one of the screws in each of the burners. That way it keeps it all kind of lined up because if you tighten one all the way, the other screws may not line up and then you have to like mess with it. But if you put one screw in each of the burners, it usually keeps it all straight. Then just screw it all in. Then you make sure nothing's inside of that little orifice. Sometimes there's a wire, maybe you drop something in there. You don't want that to happen because the gas won't make it to the top and it spreads around. Now we put the knobs in place. So these knobs, the arrow points to the off or there's a little D shape that you have to line up and push it down. It's pretty easy just to push it straight on as long as that is in the off position. Now the burner heads have a little notch in them. That notch, you wanna line up with the sparker and make sure everything's nice and flat. See right there it won't go, but when I twist it, it falls in that little notch. And you do it with all of them. Just make sure that it fits and it sits flat. There you go. And you make sure everything's nice and flat. Now, only thing left to do is plug it back in. Now we have to test it out. As soon as you put it on light, they should all click at the same time. And you want to test everything out once you install everything back together. Make sure they all turn on. And this one here is the problem burner. And it's all back to normal. So if you're in the New York City area and you either work on appliances or you need someone to work on your appliances or you tried this and it didn't work, just feel free to reach out to me. I'm always easy to reach. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna start uploading more often. Uh, feel free to leave any comments, any questions. I'm always here to help. Uh, have a very nice day. Take care.